We have a special guest today. Miss Mae West has taken the class for Foundations and Spirit Works, and I have an interview with her today. The newest reincarnation of Miss Mae West. this so you have something to refresh yourself. I know that uh, you like your martini, so this is a very special afterlife martini for you, so you can have that. Thank you, Marguerite. Thank you so much. Mm. Also, when you're talking to us, here's the, this is our microphone, so just hold on to this, and wherever you move around, if you feel like getting up and stretching your legs, you can move around and, and I can hear you as long as you're talking into this mic. Okay. Okay, so. A microphone is a lot like a man, and I don't think I have to go any farther than that. <laughs> okay, I'm going up to the booth now. Our crew, unfortunately, is out sick with the flu. So I'll be in the booth interviewing you, but I have a monitor in there and I'll be able to see everything you're doing. Okay, May, I'm in the booth. Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? I'm sexy, not deaf. Yes, I can hear you. Stop shouting. So, May, I understand that you recently took the Foundations class at Spirit Works. Is that true? Connected. It's all about the spirit, the soul, and these ooh, wonderful bodies that we have. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. When I'm touching myself, it's a, a little hard to stop. <laughs> so, May, let me ask you, did taking this class really help you? Well, honey, didn't you read my bio? You know, I really did, but I must confess I lost a couple of pages. Uh, hey, May, let me ask you, what made you decide to take the class? Well, darling, the reason I decided to take the class was because of that um, fine-looking minister you have over there. What is his name? It's like that, that um, fellow that parted the Red Sea. I can't think of his name. Moses? Well, when he said we are one, I figured it was an invitation to go take the class. When I am one with the man, I want to really get to know him first. Whoa. Hey, May, this isn't the next rated broadcast. You know, Marguerite, from the corner of this room, I can see that booth. Let me ask you, darling, are you doing something with the banana? Hey. Uh, hey, May, before leaving, um, I want to ask you a favor. Why don't you share with us something else that you learned in the Foundations class at SpiritWorks? Well, you know, I've even created a little acronym for it because it's very important to know the treatment and to remember so we can manifest wonderful things. And um, my acronym is, Are You Ready to Release? Now, R is just the letter R, and that stands for recognition. And U stands for the letter U, meaning unification. And then ready, when you say the word ready, that means realization. And then T, are you ready to release? T means thanksgiving or gratitude, reminding us to be, in, reminding me to be in gratitude. And then the last one is release, the word release, remembering that we release all this into the universe, all this into the law, so that we can have a treatment that is very effective in helping us with our spiritual elevation. Isn't that a little confusing, mixing letters and words? Yes, I did, and it was my divine pleasure to do so. Sure, I get that. Let me uh, ask you, do you, um, do you medicate daily? Oh, excuse me, I mean, do you meditate daily? Oh, that's easy. Uh, daily affirmations and meditation, that's key. That's very important to the spiritual, to the spiritual process. 
I was just noticing this wonderful puzzle of you. I noticed that's a puzzle of me with 1,000 pieces in it. I think you should invite your friends over to have a puzzle party. Oh, but enough about me. Let's get back to what I learned about spirit works. Marguerite, would you like to hear my affirmation that I say every morning before I even put my makeup on? Would you? Yes, of course. I am one with God in each breath of life. Ooh, I like that one. I might use that for myself. Well, would you like to hear a poem that I wrote? And I'm dedicating it to everyone in the class because I like everyone that was in my class. Just a bunch of wonderful people. Let me put my glasses on. I'm standing here in the light where it's easier to see. But May didn't have time to learn her lines for this. So I see you have a special overhead mic here, so I'll just put this down. Now... I just threw this together, but it's from my heart. Roses are red and violets are blue. Yes, God created them, and that is true. Make the time to enjoy each day. Take the minutes for laughter and play. Don't be despaired when life is tough. Be grateful for everything, all the stuff. Love is the secret to a happy life. Change your thoughts. Release the strife. Learn to forgive and let it go, because if you don't, it bites you in the butt, you know. If there are thoughts that bother you, mm -mm -mm, change to ones that make you true. Be thankful for each day you have. Live it happy, not so sad. Learn from what you do and the results you reap. Live your day in joy to ensure a peaceful sleep. Plant your garden of visions well. Be strong in your praise. Don't hurt other people. Lie or be jealous of their parades. We are all vibrant, healthy, beautiful, and strong. We deserve life's greatest treasures and the one we belong. Thank you.